Well, like I said, uh, youth are very important to me. I've advocated for, for youth and, uh, and, and actually just uh, implemented a mentoring uh, celebration in January for uh, honoring the mentoring programs that actually mentor youth in Durham. First time ever done in the city. But what I learned from being, I was appointed in May and I started going out in the community and I would go to different areas in the community. And one time I went to the Cornwallis area and I met a young man who was really kind of intrigued about some of the things that I've done in my life coming from the humble beginnings of the South Bronx, living in public housing and, and, and public housing and public assistance. That's how I grew up. And I was just telling him my story and he talked about how he was fighting to change his life. And so that resonated with me. I came back to our Office of Youth. They have a program called uh, Young Ambassadors. And I wanted to make sure that he was able to get an application. I went to uh, the director of the GRACE program, which is Miss Tiffany Swoop, and she helped him do his application. And he applied to be a youth ambassador. And he's the first youth ambassador that came out of Cornwallis Public Housing. And I am so proud of him. And he does want to do some things that are positive, even though sometimes your environment, like I grew up, may not be the best environment, but I'm a product of people wrapping their services around me uh, to be able to leave the South Bronx and New York and go to Binghamton, State University of Binghamton at the age of 16, and then be able to be blessed, never thought I would be able to do this, to go to Columbia University, Ivy League. And that comes from me working hard. And again, I grew up in humble beginnings. So that's why it's very important for me to give back to you. So when he told me he wanted to change his life and wanted to do something, I thank Miss Tiffany Swoop from the Grace Program, and he is now a youth ambassador.